Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How are you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, today, we're going to load in some window options and we're going to set the window uh, in the way we want it to be. We'll load everything in and we'll make sure that it works fine. So, what I want to do is first of all start this little timer thing. There you go. Uh, okay, so what I want to do is I want to go ahead into... Um, what are we going to need? We're not going to need state right now. So I'm just going to make it a habit to close down everything that we're not using at the moment. And I'll pull this game.h to the side here. Okay. Um, and what we're going to look at is we're going to look at the initialize window function. Okay. Now there's some things that we can do. Uh, this window... Uh, let's see why it's not actually set frame rate limit uh, 20 this window so let's just look at what there is uh, set okay um, size title vertical sync enabled view invisible all that stuff so, so set vertical sync enabled false so we got a bunch of options that we can use here Okay, um, and we're just going to start with these. There is something called the SF context settings. Okay, and then we got a bunch of things here. Okay, and the aliasing level, we got uh, OpenGL versions. We got all that stuff that we can use. Okay, depth bits, depth bits are really sure. I don't, I'm not sure we're going to need that, but anti-aliasing maybe we're going to need. Okay, but... Anyway, we'll start off with the simple stuff. So let's just make a notepad. Somebody told me to use, what was that thing? Sublime text. I think it was. Yeah, this is what they told me to do. So I'm just going to make a new file. And I'm going to say this. We're going to have the title first. And the title is going to be SFML C++ RPG. Okay. Um, we're going to create a better parser for this. We're going to actually just, for now, just keep it at, at uh, just with text and numbers. So you don't know what these things are if you just open the, uh, this file, but it doesn't really matter for now. So we're going to say the size of the screen is 800, width, and then height is 600. Um, and then we could actually keep those like that. Then what we want to do is uh what was it zero is false for the vertical sync what else is there so we got oh the frame rate limit as well so the window size frame rate limit 120 vsync and then that's about it so i'm just gonna save this and i'm gonna put it in uh youtube projects sfml rpg and this is where my main is. So I'm just going to make a new folder here. And I'm going to call it uh, config. All right. I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm going to call it window.ini. Okay. So this is my window.ini file. Very simple. Very hard to read, which is not good. Which we want to fix later on. Uh, but 120 frame rates, blah, blah, blah. And then we'll have some kind of a anti-aliasing level here as well. But we'll, we'll look at that later. Um, I'm just going to close this file down. So to actually get it to load, we're going to go into our game.h. And we're going to include... Then we're going to go into state.h. Because that seems to be where we're including the f stream. State.h. And I'm going to include f stream and that's gonna allow me to also i'm gonna include um s stream okay so that's gonna allow me to open a file a text file read from it and then string stream to kind of um get all the data and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna need that we'll see how how that works um so the first step uh std if stream in file stream and i'm going to call it in file stream 
um, and we're gonna open the config window dot ini if is open so we're gonna check if it's open then we're gonna just get all these um, these values and we're gonna put them in here so sf video mode and we're gonna give it some um, window bounds and I usually use underscore for my um, um, what do you call it local variables all right and for other variables and functions I use uh, the big and the, the, sm the small and the big letters uh, so there you go so there we go window bounds just gonna set it like that I'm gonna give it a default value of 800 to 600 I'm also going to do the title, std string title equals none. Um, and then what else do we have? We have a frame rate limit, which is unsigned. Frame rate limit. I'm going to set that to 60 as default. I don't like 60. I like 120. Actually, we'll keep that. Uh, so the frame rate limit. Um, boolean uh, vertical sync enabled equals false by default um, and that's good so that's pretty much it title video mode blah 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 uh, cool now we're gonna read stuff in if so what if it's open what I'm gonna do is a title or std get line uh, IFS title so that's the first line I know that the first part of my INI file is the title okay the second thing is going to be um, STD no IFS I'm gonna read in from the file and I'm gonna put in uh, window bounds window bounds dot X or no, window bounds dot width, and then window bounds dot height. Okay, and then IFS frame rate limit, IFS vertical sync enabled. So there you go. Now I loaded everything in. Um, now I can use this in here. So window bounds. And then title frame rate frame rate limit and then set or vertical sync enabled so you go now I read in the options and I'm pretty much just creating a window from that uh, it's config window dot ini so let's run this let's see if it actually does what I want it to do And it does create that window with that title I had in the file. Now, obviously, if the file that you have is uh, is not valid, then it's going to crash. Okay, so you want to make sure that when you're re writing your file, that it's in this format. So the title of the thing, the video size, frame rate limit, and vertical sync. So pretty much, pretty much. Uh, that is what you want and that's only once because we're only creating the window once so that's fine we don't have to make any kind of loop here or anything um, yeah so that's that's it and then we create the window and we're good and then obviously what you want to do is you want to ifs.close don't forget the, to close the, the file because if you do it's RIP all right you're gonna get a bunch of issues later if you're trying to open files and stuff so so that should be fine um okay okay let me just think seems okay you're closing the stream all right all right all right we're good all right we're good all right guys and girls that's about it for this video i don't think i want to begin on anything else i do want to create a player class later but i think we have to work on the states i think we're going to start off by making a little main menu 
and maybe some type of class um, first because we need state to work first and some kind of menu so we can start the game so we're gonna have main menu state and we're gonna have a game state where we'll be able to kind of work on the game a little bit uh, or we could do game state first if you find that's more fun I'll see I'll think about it a little bit um, anyway we'll be working on the game so it's gonna be fun nevertheless but thank you so much take care I hope you enjoyed the video uh, please check out the description box for all the nice links and stuff. Drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Thanks for the support, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next video, alright? Bye-bye.